from all over the world, well, you're probably affected in some way or another. Femi Oke okay is tracking them all and joins us with an update. Hi, Femi. Hi, hello Femi. there to you. Both hello to our viewers around the world. If you live in the tropics, you'll be very familiar with the intertropical convergence zone. You might not call it that, but it's this area through the middle of the world. If you've ever been anywhere on holiday where it rains regularly about 3 o'clock in the afternoon and it's torrential amount of rainfall, that's the area I'm talking about. And it's in this zone of wet weather, that's where all of our tropical systems are developing from. The water the ocean is warm enough right now has the right conditions and you can see as I stand back we have four systems to talk about ah, and one minute left to do it in let me show you where you should be looking as I go through the statistics look at this box here and also we look at the tropical systems over here and look at an area of purple known as the cone of uncertainty don't be swayed by that purple line and where the hurricane symbol goes to it could be between this area and this area that anywhere along here that this hurricane hits or for this part of the world this super typhoon hits is about three days away from that western side of Taiwan our western side of Taiwan has had a lot of weather action recently already seen one typhoon last week a tropical storm last week and now more wet weather to come with a super typhoon you're looking at wind speeds way over 200 kilometers an hour so very serious indeed also very serious for you if you're in the western Antilles the less Antilles I should say along that western side of the Caribbean you will need to watch out the next two three days you're going to see what should be a hurricane develop you'll see it changes from having a hole in the middle to being filled in that means those wind speeds picking up so by the end of this week areas like Barbados and uh, St Kitts and Nevis all of these areas through the Lesser Antilles could well be seeing some powerful winds and a lot of rain as well by about Monday heading into the northern Caribbean so you head up through the US it's been really wet in Texas they really could do without this here this is a tropical storm gradually making its way up to Corpus Christi again by the end of this week gusting up to 83 kilometers an hour moving in a westerly northwesterly direction and we say landfall when the center of our tropical system actually hits land and so we're looking about two days out before it actually does so now one you don't need to worry about too much if you're flying into hawaii you might have a little bit of a delay as far as your plane's concerned but Flossie is almost done now. Tropical storm Flossie heading away from Hawaii, still bringing some winds with it, but in the next three days, it will be a fish storm, if that. And that's a look at all four storms across the entire world. Hala, back to you. Good riddance, Flossie. <laughs> I'm out of breath now. I need to lie down. <laughs> I know. I'm like, <gasps> keep right. breathing. <laughs> Go relax. Come back next hour. <laughs> better and stronger. We're yeah. now, though, getting a better idea of the size and the scope of flooding. In